Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. We are getting tired of all this week in, week out, but uh, we have resolved in this channel to keep you updated on any slightest recent development. Comrade Philip is saying a lot of things. Just listen to him. Remember to subscribe. We'll meet, we'll meet at the end of this uh, of this uh, broadcast. See you at the other side. Good evening, everyone in Grants community. My name still remains Comrade Philip, the National President of Justice for the Masses Movement. I came my way today, 20, uh, 19th of April 2024. And I know this B note is also going to extend to 20 of April 2024 because some may not see it today and definitely majority will see it tomorrow 20th of April 2024. I just want to briefly respond to a V note released by unknown person. The person refused to mention his name um, people that refuse to mention their name, they have aim and they have mission. I want to quickly respond to him. But before I respond, I want to elaborate on a particular word and give my own explanation according to dictionary. And the word I want to use in the dictionary is called idiot and uh, when we say the word or uh, the word idiot what does they what does it mean idiot is an ignorant person somebody that did not know anything and somebody that also refuse to know even when people want to teach him to know and there's a particular animal also that is also called idiot and that idiot animal is the most useless animal among the animal kingdom therefore this person refuse to mention his name and uh, on this ground, I want to use the dictionary word to qualify his name. The person, I want to call him an idiot because idiot is somebody that did not know anything and he did not want to know. No matter how much you want him to know, he will not know. That is what an idiot means. The person came out to respond to Comrade Ola's B note when Comrade Ola was advising the masses, the subscribers, the CEOs to be part of the press conference, the world press conference. Um, this person came out to say people should not respond and uh, after the press conference we are still coming back to ask for more money uh, people should open their eyes indirectly the person is telling the grant community that we are trying <clears throat> to scam the people that after the press conference there are other things, there are many things that is next after the press conference. Now I want to say this, uh, all these kind of people that did not know anything, all they are just trying to do is to try to see if they can dig into the deep to see if we will bring out our plan after the press conference i want us to know that before we come out to announce the press conference the support for the press conference 
we have uh, concluded our plan both within this country and outside this country and all they are looking for is for us to tell them our link our source where are we taking the aftermath of the press conference to that's all they are trying to get from us in which they will not when the grant handler mr ken wakama come out to ask for people to pay huge millions of money nobody comes out to fight him or to ask the masses not to pay nobody fight it nobody discourage the masses this man is not even though we have people that know that these people are scammer they have been coming out to warn us but many refuse but this same person was still there then i know this person an idiot must be a ceo one of those ceos and also a foot soldier of Mr. Ken Wakama of UAG. They did not come at them, but now that they see that this press conference is becoming a threat to the grant handlers, they are coming out to discourage the community to support it. But if Ken himself, Mr. Ken, come out, today again to say there is warning that he needs they won't come out to say no because they will benefit from it now i want to tell us after this press conference there are about five steps after and these are the steps after much of the press conference that they are trying to know some have even had meeting with us trying to put words in our mouth to know. But none of you will never know. When the time comes, you will know. You see, if these people know what is coming ahead after the press conference, from now they will start finding a way to run out of this country. Honestly speaking. The aftermath of the press conference is not what anybody can say they want to sweep after under the carpet. Even our president will not sweep, will not allow it to be swept under the carpet or somebody to use his connection to cover it. No, because it's not about this country alone. It's going after this, uh, uh, it's going outside this country. Therefore, we already have our moves before we come out. Our plan before is not even to involve anybody to pay. We have been doing the work underneath. But somehow, somehow, we still need to allow the masses to know that is why it came out. Therefore, I want to say, no matter what you people come out to do, the gimmicks, the strategy for you to know what is going to be the aftermath or the next of the press conference, you can never know. You want to dig in, you want to dig in for you to know who and who are involved. Let me tell you, those that are involved, they are even more than myself the prince of worry or anybody yes and none of you will know therefore all the ceos that are parading the grand community in support of the uag and mr Kang to key the press conference i want to tell us that it's too late it cannot be killed and this we get CEOs that are feeding on the masses, taking advantage of this community of taking advantage of the situation or the environment created by the grant handlers. You also be sure 
that the aftermath of this press conference is coming for you. Nobody can escape it. Yes. Nobody. But this person that didn't know anything, everything about him just portrayed the dictionary meaning of an idiot, just came out to discourage people. You don't know anything and you will never know. Anything as for this press conference, you will never know. Five steps, I said, after. Then when the time comes, you will understand better. Now, those that have already supported, the CEOs that have supported, the Bondu Edge that are already in our support platform, they know they have the idea. Even though they don't have the table, they have the idea. Those ones, by now, they cannot be deceived or be carried away by all these B notes, all these good soldiers of Mr. Kane in Wakama. Those ones know where we are going and they understand. It's only those that still not support, those that are still afraid because of what the because of the evil they have done. They are the one that the V note of this man called idiot. We walked on. We walk on. Therefore, I want to say to the CEOs that have been part that are part of this press conference have supported us in one way or the other. We appreciate you. The evidences, God has perfected it. The link and all the moves after the press conference, God has perfected it. All we need now is the finances. Yes, is the finances. This idiot that spoke says, if we have a mission, why can't we look for money to finance our mission by ourselves? When Mr. Ken says he need money to build a hub, why can't you tell him that that is mission he should finance it by himself? He came out and asked for 10, 10,000. And the amount that we build such an app cannot be more than 300,000, maximum. But he collected millions of money just to build a hub of that lower capacity. A hub that is not that this video that we will be uploading on every document that will be uploaded in it. Just a data. Just data. Data of about 1,000 kilobytes, not, not bytes, kilobytes each they are collecting uh, millions of naira to sustain and to build when he says he needs help to get grants from the international community they ask him to go and seek for that to go and get money by himself to fulfill his personal mission when they say they want verification, they need 100,000, 35,000. You didn't tell him to go and look for money. They came to the masses. That's why I use the name idiot for that person. They came to the, he came to the masses and started asking for money. And he collected that money in millions, turning to billions just because of his own selfish mission that has nothing to do with the masses. You didn't tell him to go and look for money to sort it, to sort it out by himself. You only need just few amounts to fix what will liberate the community to unfold the truth you're coming out that we should go and look for money. This is not Comrade Philip's mission. This is not Prince of Worry's mission. This is not Comrade Ola's mission. It's the mission of the grant community, the masses, the subscribers. 
and they just have to be part. The mission Mr. Ken carry on is not for the masses. It's his own mission, personal mission, pause for his own bank account and his own wallet. Why I say that? He knows that it's not in any document. He knows he doesn't have his grip over the money. And he went collecting money because of greed, because of his thirst for money. That is why the mission is not for the masses, it's for his own pockets. We are in the mission to liberate the masses, to let the masses know what is happening. And you people are the enemy of truth, the fathers of lie, and the prince and princess of darkness. That is who you people are. That is why you are fighting the truth. Therefore, I want to say today that anyone speaking against the press conference is a strong enemy of the masses and they remain a strong enemy to tomorrow. I will not say more than this. Grant community, the ball is in your court. Let's decide whether you want to remain in the chain or you want to be free. CEOs that are still under their cage, they are bullying you of recent, they are threatening you, they want you to be quiet forever while they do nothing. That is their mission. And that is the reason why Joyce, Joyce Lovely came to threaten every one of you. So that you will not talk and everything will die till they find their level out of this country. That is just it. Because they hate the truth. Therefore, CEOs, if you like, be part of this. If you like, don't be part. We are not begging anybody anymore because we know we have gotten to the peak of the manifestation, the reality of the press conference. It will be done very soon. We know how much we have gotten, and when we have gotten the amount we need, we announce in Grant's community that people should stop contributing, and you will see the press conference will come. Only those CEOs that are part will be exonerated. But those CEOs that did not partake to support the press conference, they are all wicked CEOs that must go for it. That the aftermath of the press conference, they play music they must dance to. That is just it. I will not say more than this. Press conference will come no matter the attack, no matter the confrontation. I will not say more than that. Advise everybody to be part of it so that we can free ourselves again. Thank you. I remain Comrade Philip. Bye for now. So that's the update, guys. We just pray that these people will do the needful so that these men will be eminent. See you at the other side, guys. <laughs>